Hello there, people who have access to the internet and who are currently using it to watch this video. My name is Pun Food, or just Pun if you prefer. And I have a few plans. Um, I believe I want to open the map, make sure I know what cat shines I've got. So, looking at the map, we can't go back to this island until you beat the game. Is that spoilers? It might be. I don't know. Um, so I think what I want to try to do in this episode is. Um, I don't want the series to go beyond, like, six parts, um, just because, well, it's a part of the greater 3D World series, so I guess it would be 18 parts, technically, but that's purely because, um, I already got two parts recorded at the time of recording this. Well, no, duh, I have two parts recorded, but this is a new recording session, so in the last session I recorded two parts. Um, so my goal is to just get four parts done this recording session and hopefully that means 100% completion which means that this episode I think I'd like to actively try to finish up these two go over here finally and do that and I think there's a shine over here so that's the general game plan I also need to find that other missing kitten so what's down here oh I can repaint this now that I've logged out of the game Hmm. Well, I guess I'll take it. Although, at the same time... Um, I actually need one of these. So, never mind. Um, because I need to grab that thing. And I believe... Yeah, just barely I can... Okay. Now... I have to remember where the last cat... Oh! I think I know where the last cat is. And boy, is it an annoying one to get. Okay. Let's head over here. Um... And let's use our Plessy over here. Let's get this rabbit first. Um... I did say that in this part we would be fighting, um, Fury Bowser again. Um, and we will do that. The question is, when? And I think the big answer to that question is, uh, after I've broken all the Fury Blocks that I really need to use him to break. Um, so the goal is to end the part with, like, 50 Cat Shines. Um, also... I forget if this island is actually, or if this place, it's not really, thanks Bowser Jr. Really what I need from you. I forget if this place actually has, um, a cat shine. I want to say that it doesn't, now that I'm giving it a closer look. Um, it's telling me to enter the shell, but I think I would rather just, uh, throw it like that. Okay. Um, although, I should maybe try using Plessy to destroy some stuff before I give a definitive there's no cat shine here answer. Um... I swore there was a cat shine out here, but maybe it is just some bonus coins. But this game doesn't really have a purpose for doing that, especially since I've basically already maxed out my items. With like the only exception being like the lucky bell. Um, anyway. Priority number one is this Colosseum. And it's for the simple reason of I don't think the uh Bowser blocks, Fury blocks, whatever you want to call them, um, are even accessible until you, um, already got the three primary, uh, cat shines of this level. Anyway, this, um, this island is just boss fights with, uh, Cat Boom Boom and Cat Pom Pom. Um... I guess it leads into a somewhat decent segue about, uh, why is everything cat in this, uh, place? Um, like, 
It's called Bowser's Fury, not Bowser's Furry. Um... I mean, that might have been the joke they were going for, though, so I don't know. Um... Like, my only guess is that it's, you know, Lake Lapcat, so, like, of course everything's cat-themed, but at the same time, it still doesn't make too much sense. To me, at least. Um... Well, I guess everything could be cat-themed, but why make the enemies, you know, all cats? Like, and why didn't they do that in the main, you know, game? I think that's the big question that I'm asking myself. Yeah. Why just for this mode? Why not in the main game was everything a cat? Like, even the birds are cats here. Only thing that isn't a cat here is, like, the rabbits and Mario and Bowser Jr. Um, and I guess Bowser. But they're all outsiders. Well, are the rabbits outsiders? Hmm. Um... Bowser looks really close to, uh... Coming out of the, uh... The thing. So... Um... I guess let's get over... There... To, uh... To have him break these blocks when he comes out in, like, just a second. Um... Alright. Here's the ramp. And the bell's awakening. Where is Bowser? He's right there. Okay. I will... In that case... Take advantage of invisible platforms. And I will use a cat shine. Or get a cat shine. Um. I'm. Like, everything's cat themed, but why the enemies? And also, like. Because I guess it's like in 3D World proper, you know, why aren't they cat themed, you know? Like, only the Goombas in 3D World were, could be. Or in Bullet Bills could be cat themed. So. Why is everything in these islands all of a sudden cat themed? Like. I don't know, maybe it has to do with the greater lore that literally at the end of the last episode I said that this, uh, the Mario developers didn't, obviously didn't, wouldn't have, because, you know, it, you know, it's Nintendo, they implemented something because it's cool, not, uh, I forget. Um, anyway, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, I think the cat Koopa Troopas make a lot of sense, but they would have made more sense in 3D World, where, you know, Bowser himself actually turned into a cat. So, that's just my personal opinion. Um, I don't know, maybe, uh... Oh my gosh. Um... I didn't actually expect this to be difficult, really. Um, oh. The walls are invisible. I can't believe I'm actually getting tripped up by the invisible walls thing. Yeah, I know there's a box there, Bowser Jr. I just want to make sure I don't miss out on the coins. What's in here, anyway? Superstar. Oh, that's really helpful, actually. Um, anyway. Cat shine. Okay. How many shines does that put us at for the episode? Um, should be like, you know, 34. Not as many as I would have liked to have, but I am in a good position to come over to this island and need, still need to have Bowser break the Fury Blocks. Um. And I need to make sure I find the last, uh... The last... Um... Whatever you want to call it. Um... Key thing. So, yeah, I was right. The Fury Blocks don't appear until... After... Um, but where is the last one? Is it just... Oh, it's right here. Okay. Well, I'll grab that. <sighs> I'm gonna need three Bowser to break those blocks, but... Hopefully I have enough time to climb to the top of the tower and then... Just kinda... 
Um, what do I want to say? And then just kind of go back outside and have Bowser break the Fury Blocks. Alright. Um, so you really want to be on top of that thing when you ground pound it. Okay. Anyway. Now what we need to do is, unfortunately, that right there is a brick wall. So, Bowser Jr. is going to help us and get the bob -omb. And then we're going to use it to blow that up. And we are going to fight Cat Boom Boom in this spiky arena. This is actually, I believe they did something like this in 3D Land to actually spice up the fight as well. My question is, why are they using the blue spikes when the orange spikes are the ones that actually go in the pattern, you know? Oh, great. This has to be, like, the worst timing. At least they're reusing Boom Boom's second fight from 3D World. Come on. I need to get this shine before Bowser fully, uh... Before he fully emerges so that I can use it and not prevent him from showing up. Because I need Bowser if I want to get the uh, last... To break the Fury Blocks on this island. Um, anyway. With that... I guess this is the way out if I don't have a cat suit, which I don't currently have. Um, hopefully that destroyed... Um, the things. It doesn't look like it did, though. Where is Bowser? Um, okay, he's right there, so I'll just stand here. We'll use his Fury Breath, and, uh, can you successfully obliterate this thing? Can you... Can you cooperate, please? Um... Bowser. Thank you. Oh my gosh, okay. Um... I would like to get 20 cat shines this episode, but... I don't know how possible that is. Um... I guess let's get the last cat shine over here. Um, Fire Flower will actually be a little helpful over here. Because I can use the fireballs to reveal the thing. Oh, this is a really fun shine. I, I like these, like, blocks that appear just for the sake of these, like, time challenges. You know. I like the time challenges where, like, the random blocks appear. And I like this one especially because it makes use of invisible blocks, too. But I need to start over because I missed my jump. Um. Anyway. There we go. You should be able to just climb up there. Alright. So. Come on, come on. Now that I'm thinking about it... Okay, there we go. Got this catch on. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't hate the whole cat ears, cat tail for the enemies in this, um... In this game. But I think my... Thinking is why. Like... A, why... Why does everything need to be cat? If it's because this whole place is cat themed? Okay, sure, I guess. But then, after that, it becomes a question of, well, why does everything need to be cat-themed? Or, like... No. It, it's more of a question of, you know... Why wasn't it all cat-themed in 3D World? You know, the place where the cat power-up originally was introduced. You know... At least the Koopa Troopas, who would have made sense, and again, would have complimented Meowser perfectly. Or uh, maybe I should have done it more like... Maybe... No, for that joke, I probably should have done it more like 
perfectly. Cause, you know, more of like a purring type. Anyway. Uh, unfortunately, what you have to do to get this cat back to its mother is I don't think you can take it. Yeah, you can't take it on Plessy. So, you literally have to come over here. Take the cat. Come over here. Stand here. Wait for a platform to rise up out of the ocean. <sighs> oh, I didn't mean to spin. Hop on the platform and ride it as close as you can. Um. Oh my god, that was so close. Also, like, you automatically do a spin jump on ice in this mode. I don't know. I think that might be how it is in 3D World. But, I mean, we wouldn't know since the Ice World only has one ice level in that game. <sighs> anyway, we're just waiting. Got on the highest point just in case it starts to sink before we reach our destination. But it might be more beneficial to get closer. Oh, come on! In case you didn't know this, notice, know this and or notice, um, notice and or know this, um, whatever. In case you didn't notice, um, I'm just gonna leave you here. It's a relatively safe spot. Um, the cats, even these ones that are part of an escort mission, turn evil at night. And unfortunately, I've used up all my shines to get rid of Fury Bowser without, besides using the Gigabell. But even if I could get rid of Giga Bowser, I wouldn't necessarily want to. Because, um... I'm worried that if I do, that cat will reset back to the island I found it at. So I'm just kind of stuck waiting for Giga Bowser to just kind of disappear on his own. Is he purposely attacking the cat? Oh my god. Anyway, I guess I'll just sit here. This cat is so annoying, like, more annoying than any other time that you have to do these cat delivery side quests. After a while, Fury Bowser isn't threatening. It's just kind of a gimmick that you have to deal with. Like, I guess if I were to describe him, I would say that Fury Bowser, like, reminds me um, of the Emmys from, uh, Metroid Dread. Um, in the sense that, like, the first time through, it can seem like, oh no, oh no, oh no. But, like, on subsequent playthroughs, or even just later in the game, you know, the tension's pretty much gone. Um, you know, uh, that's kind of how I see it. Anyway, should be the last kitten. So, we'll get the cat shine. Lost getting near the ruins. Let's hop on Plessy. Does it show me the location of just random wild cat shrines? Like cat shrines that aren't affiliated with an island? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. Honestly. Um. Anyway. Unfortunately, we have to beat this, uh, island over here. Um. Do we want to give up? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Is this- I think this is an enemy. Yeah. Enemy attackery. I wonder if I should turn off Bowser Jr.'s help, because in some instances it feels like he's just being a little annoying. Um. I mean, he can be helpful, but then why isn't he, you know, actively going to attack these cat cheap cheeks? Um. Oh, now he's going to take up the guy. 
Are you serious? What are you doing back here? Okay. Well, let's grab this cat shine. And that puts us at 40... Um... 41. Okay. Did I... No, okay. Well, you know what? <laughs> At least this game has an ice level. Even if it's still the only ice level in the entire game. Like, at least 3D World had ice levels elsewhere, but this one only has this one ice level. <sighs> it is... it is vastly disappointing. Um... I guess that's one thing I'm excited about in Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Uh... More ice levels, hopefully, though then again, it seems like they combined the ice and sky worlds, which act might actually lead to less ice levels than even the new Soup series. Um... Okay. Where do I want to actively attempt to go? Uh... I think I definitely need to clear the first stage before they'll really let me do anything else otherwise. Okay. Tanuki Leaf. That's pretty helpful. Alright. I believe this is just a bonus. This is a warp back to the beginning. Oh. It's a two-way. Okay. I thought it was just I reset myself. Which would have been silly and stupid. Anyway. Um... Are we even floating using the Tanuki suit? I think we're just floating using the propeller box. Um... Yeah. Around back here is the first... Cat shard? Oh! Oh, you can't propeller after while jumping. Well, wait. Where's cat shard number one? Oh, it's above the island. That I would have to... Like, propeller up like that to get back. That makes sense. And again, I don't think the Fury Blocks on this level are accessible until after I... Um... Until after I beat at least one challenge, I believe. Because I think they're hidden under part of the goop that's attached to the island. Alright. Mmm. Oh. What is this? Is that a quirk of it being at night that I can see those glowing spots? I think it might be. Though I guess it's not really night, it's just storming. Is this number three? Yeah, okay. Don't want to miss any. Um... Uh, okay. Like, Fury Bowser isn't like, at all threatening. Okay. Dang it. Doesn't seem like I can make it up there. Oh, those are totally disappearing. Gotcha. Okay. Uh... Perhaps one of you a propeller box? I think that was the first time all Let's Play that I, uh... That I actually got hit by a Fury Bowser attack. Hmm. Um... Oh, Lucky Bell. I guess since we have the ability to fly through the propeller box, or float, rather, um... I guess I don't really need the uh, Tanuki Leaf so much. Um, and the Lucky Bell is fine, I guess? I wouldn't say it's great. Um, like, it's definitely good. I can climb walls with it, so... Oh, and yeah, even though this, um, this game has an ice level, you know, the entirety of it isn't even an ice level. It's sure, it's snowy, but like... There's a lot more just random jumping on these moving platforms that aren't even icy. Unbelievable. Okay. 
Well, now what sucks is that I'm waiting on Fury Bowser to appear to get the shine behind the Fury Blocks. Um, any other... Yes, a Plessy Ring opens up. That's great. That should be, like, shine number... It's 43, so... Should be able to get a few more. Um, I don't think I'll be able to get 20, but even if I don't, um, that's fine. I can probably make up for it in another part somewhere. Um, also, I just like how they secretly hid this golden pipe here. So I don't know how useful it is, considering all you get for coins is more power-ups and... Oh, and also when you're wearing a propeller block, you can't even pick up things. Nor can you, uh, utilize a lucky, um, the lucky, uh, bell to its full potential. So that kind of sucks. Um, anyway, uh, I definitely need to reload the island before it'll let me work toward the next shine. Which kind of sucks. Um... Might as well take on this Plessy Ring, then. Um... Alright. So, where do we go with this one? Um... Eh, kind of a boring path. I like how the other one had us, like, leaping on top of the islands. Um... You know what I love about this, um... Uh, Bowser's Fury. I love how the islands are platforming challenges, but to some extent, when you're either Giga Cat Mario, or just riding on Plessy sometimes, the islands are used more so as, like, j the entirety of the island is a single platform, or, like, it's a set piece, you know? So they can be, like, individual levels into themselves, but they can also just be these, you know, something on a bit of a grander scale. And that's something that I appreciate about them. Anyway, here's the Fury Blocks. Fly through the frost. Um... What's up here? Nothing much. Okay. Um... I, want, I forget how this uh, particular level shakes things up to be more, um, or this partic- yeah, this particular cat shine shakes up the level to- oh, okay. I believe it's- you have to go through- you trigger the button- oh, the Fu Fury Bowser's coming out, so I might as well just stand down here. Um, I think one thing you'll notice as the game goes on is that Fury Bowser comes out more and more frequently. Um, I believe this is to motivate you to finish the game- um, quick, I guess, is the best way to put it, um, instead of, like, stalling, or whatever. Anyway, we can just have Fury Bowser, um, if he would be so kind as to... Uh, he didn't quite hit the Fury Blocks. Um... Could you maybe try again? Uh... I hate how long it takes him sometimes to uh, charge up his Fury Breath. Why... Why won't he hit the thing? Like... Does it maybe have to come from the other side? Is it somehow one of those weird... No, seriously, why isn't this working? Uh... Is it something to do with I have to beat it again because it's only... <sighs> I'm so confused as to why... Maybe it is one of those, you have to beat it multiple times to get the Fury Blocks to a state where, you know, you can actually 
break them. Anyway. Is this really flying through the frost, per se, or is it just... Like, these aren't even, like, icy platforms, right? Can we all agree on that? Not even icy platforms. So are we really flying through the frost? I don't know. I think I'm disappointed with the quality of ice levels, and I now realize how much I love ice levels. Not just snow levels, but ice levels. Um, I think that... You know, if it were up to me, I would put ice levels as, like, the final world, purely because I think they have them with slippery, you know, icy physics. You know, ice levels have the greatest potential to be super challenging. Uh, so let's just reset the island, then. Meanwhile... I guess I want to see if there's any other cat shines that I missed. Um, I wouldn't expect to find any, I don't think this is a cat shine, but it is a little island thing going on. Um, oh, I didn't even have to climb up here. Okay, then. Alright, island should be fully reset, so now... I mean, I think it should be reset. Um... So now... Yeah, how do I get Bowser to actually hit those things? Fury Shadow on Ice. Okay. This might be, like, one of the only... Seriously? Okay. This might be one of the only challenges. Like, the first two were okay at using the ice physics, but this might be the only one where I'm actually like, oh wow, they actually use the ice physics to some extent. Um, well, my question then is why is the ground pound switch still here? Anyway, defeated the Fury Shadow. And now... All that would be left is for Fury Bowser to appear, and then we can break the Fury Blocks, but then we would need to wait for him to appear again, so we can... Huh. Maybe all that we need to happen is for him to spawn, like, right here in front of us, as opposed to more behind that pillar there in front of us. Let's see. How close is he? Not very. So I think, for your time... I'm just gonna cut back to when Fury Bowser appears, and we can actually, you know, use him. Alright, I'm back! Hopefully now Fury Bowser is capable of hitting these blocks, so that they actually get destroyed. Um... I don't care if I take damage for this to happen. I just want my blocks destroyed, thank you. Alright. Blast the Fury Blocks. Uh, and that made him disappear, which, and I think 47 is the maximum number of shines you can have before fighting him again, which sucks, because now that means that I need to head over here to this, um place in particular, Runes Gigabell, and I need to just stand here until Fury Bats are awakened, so I think a similar thing will be occurring here. I will be cutting back to when Fury Bowser actually shows up. Alright, let's grab this Giga... Of course. <laughs> I did an invisible wall that was still up around it while well, it was going transformed. Whatever, let's grab the Gigabell and let's just destroy Fury Bowser. Um, hmm, do I want to start a conversation about, uh, I think I have a better chance to start that conversation. Um, but, yeah, alright. But I was talking about earlier how the islands are just kind of, like, they can be platforming challenges in entire levels, but they can also be, um, 
platforms, just like individual platforms in their own right. Also, with the spikes, you can just pick them up and throw them at Bowser. Um, which can work effectively to stun lock him into a state where you can just kind of do that. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Um, and that should be the next, um, gateway, not gateway, um, unlock requirement for the next set of islands. Um, and basically all of the goop should disappear except for like, oh, there's a cat-shaped rainbow. I forgot that happened. It's so subtle that it's hard to notice. Um, but this should be the final set of islands before you actually beat him and all the goop disappears. Anyway, um, and it's all on an upper level, which means there's only one path to get up there, and it's up that boat shipwreck thing. Oh, I guess that would be the other half of, like, Bowser's airship, would it? Hmm. Anyway, looks like it's more to say. Hope you would change back, uh, um, cat shines. Okay. Yeah. Literally, like, the entirety of the map is now open. Um. That doesn't mean I can go back to the first island, does it? Um. Like, it says the entire map is open. So. Um. Wait. Maybe? Oh, I guess you can go into those golden pipes more than once as long as you... Yeah, I didn't think that you would actually be able to go back here. My guess is for the sake of the map, they just got rid of all the darkness, but in actuality, some of the goop is still there. Maybe that's what these... Uh, the darker blue is. They just didn't want to have to show the fury goo stuff in places where they didn't want to. Anyway, um, that's Bowser's airship there. So, how many cat shines do I need now? I guess I must have, like, enough. Just not enough enough. Also, Sky always been that sunsetty when looking in that direction. Maybe it's just a product of being near the end. I don't know. Anyway, so this can't possibly part be part of Bowser's airship, can it? Um, may maybe it is. Also, there's this cat bell under here. I don't know. It it probably is. It just doesn't look like it's connected. Because, like, ba I swear Bowser's airship is a little smaller. I'm just trying to look for any signs that... Nope, it's part of Bowser's airship. You can see the Bowser right there. Well, I guess we'll be plessy surfing up it next time! But for now, my name has been and will be tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that and the day after that. And always will be... Pun Food. You know, I never noticed it before myself, but the fact that this is Bowser's airship is... Cannon? Well, I guess, like, destroyed, broken cannons, but still, you know, cannon.